scientists just cracked a 13 billion year old cold case. The mystery? How the heck did our first stars actually form? The answer involves recreating the universe's very first molecule in a lab. That molecule is helium hydride, the OG molecule that scientists now believe may have played a much larger role in birthing our first stars. Right after the Big Bang, the universe was a chaotic, blindingly hot primordial soup of particles, a cosmic blender on maximum speed. But then in a matter of seconds, it cooled down just enough for the very first elements to form, mainly hydrogen and helium. And it took another 380,000 years for things to cool down enough for the first neutral atoms to show up. That's when chemistry became possible and the universe got its first ever molecule, helium hydride. This tiny molecular pioneer started a chain reaction that led to molecular hydrogen, the most common molecule in existence. By then, the universe entered its dark ages, literally no stars, no light, just floating around in cosmic darkness for hundreds of millions of years. So what was the problem? Well, the universe was still too hot for star formation. See, stars need to collapse under their own gravity to start the fusion process, but you need serious cooling for that to happen. But the scientists at the Max Planck Institute had a theory. What if helium hydride was the key to that cooling system? To test this theory, they built an ultra cold lab that recreated conditions from over 13 billion years ago. They bombarded helium hydride with deuterium, hydrogen's bigger cousin with an extra neutron. And they did this at different temperatures by changing how fast they shot particle beams at each other. And the results changed previous predictions. Previous theories thought the reaction would actually slow down as temperatures dropped but it didn't. The cooling reaction stayed strong even at cosmic level cold temperatures, meaning helium hydride could have indeed provided the cooling power needed to birth the first stars. These findings might force us to rethink our models of early cosmic evolution. The first molecule in existence wasn't just along for the ride, it was actively engineering the conditions that brought light to the universe. How wild is it to think that something so tiny may have kickstarted literally everything we see in the night sky? If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today I Learned Science at T I L Science.